Hey YouTube, what's good? Sean Paul here. Just uh, coming back at you. It's been a couple months now actually that I've been cruising around with the Backfire GT. Still excellent, excellent investment on my part. Um, I just gotta go run an errand. Figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. We can talk about it, see what's new, see what's been happening. All right, let's hit it. First time shooting on the GoPro. No idea how the audio is working, if it's better or worse than before. Got to run to the UPS store, make some Amazon returns. So yeah, haven't done too many thorough tests with it, but I can tell you after riding it multiple times a week for the last few months, it's been holding up really good. Battery's great. I think the longest I've taken it out is maybe a 10 mile trip. Um, felt really good. Still really loving the comfort of the flexi deck um, and the carving and the big wheels just going over everything literally any sidewalk bump you might hear it but you don't feel it normally i'll uh, ride on the road in sport mode cruising around 20 miles an hour um, but when i'm talking i think I might be a little distracted, so we'll stay on the sidewalk for now. If I didn't already mention, headed to uh, UPS, drop off some Amazon returns. Oh man, that bump right there would have been devastating on my old skateboard. Sidewalks around here, South Florida, um, not the greatest. You'd think that the, with the roads, with how nice and warm it is, and there's no, uh, you know, wintertime ice popping, popping things up, it wouldn't be as bad, but man, these, these roads are wicked sidewalks. Board's been holding up great. I did just notice um, one little spot of rust on the rear right wheel for some reason. I'm gonna, I just noticed it. Um, I'll have to lube it up, clean it. I'll show you guys that when I get back home. But for now, I mean, it, it's just, it's been flawless and haven't had any, any regrets or doubting of my purchase, which uh, if you don't know me, it's pretty unique because uh, I often have buyer's remorse and am sending things back to Amazon and um, just always looking at, you know, what's coming out next or what did I miss? So yeah, pretty happy. Over sidewalks, no problem. The wow counter is still definitely deserved. Um, I find myself just constantly like, Riding, chilling over the stuff and being like, wow, 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 wow. A lot of wows. No idea if any of that audio will come through. Obviously, I'll have to redo all this. Um, still using the remote in my left hand, which is still annoying. Um, it feels great. The grip but just not being able to see the uh the display is a bit of a bitch, if you know what i mean um and hitting the buttons like if i want to turn on the cruise control can't do that unfortunately other than that though no problems there all right so i'm almost here at ups um i've got some really cool drone footage to show you guys i was pretty proud of i uh was flying the drone and operating the uh the remote at the same time it was pretty intense uh, but I think I got a couple cool clips going over the bridge here in Jupiter um, so I'll, I'll bring that up next and here at the store and uh, catch you guys in a few
All right, that was nice and easy. Didn't they also love how freaking easy it is to return packages on Amazon these days? Everything's got free returns and you just get a little code, you, they scan it and then you're good to go. Brilliant. I mean, I hate supporting them sometimes because I don't think they're the best company in the world, but uh, man, it's so convenient. So yeah, as I was saying, the remote left hand, bit of a bummer. Uh, but you know, it works. Um, I would, the only thing I'm really missing, I guess, uh, is the cruise control button. I think I would use that a little bit more if I could easily hit it with one hand, but kind of have to do a little bit of a fumbling, um, but whatever. All right, what else to talk about? Uh, do I recommend it? Yes, for sure. I will say, the other negative, high speed. There's definitely some speed wobbles uh, that you can get even after really tightening those trucks down. Um, only at the highest speed though, at that about that 22 mile an hour mark, does it really hit you. Love going over train tracks now. Crazy. Ah, beautiful day in South Florida. Oh, cobblestone. It's not really cobblestone, it's like an old brick. I don't know what it is, but even on this, it is rough. Here's some sand. It is rough. I can feel it in the feet a little bit. It's not bad at all, though. Barely even noticeable. And here's the best part. Let's say I don't want to uh, deal with this type of pavement. Oh, look. Oh, hey. Huh. What do you know? Just go through the freaking grass. How ridiculously cool is that? Oh my God. And this is thick grass too. I can go through, cruising through here by the uh, town hall and police department. I don't know if I'm breaking any rules coming through here, but it's just so much fun. Ooh, I've never gone around this before. Yes. Thank you, Double Kingpin Trucks. Going around and around and around and around. <laughs> Woo! That was enjoyable. Oh, big puddle? No, thank you. Just go through the grass. Ridiculous, right? Like, what? It's insane. on a day like this. This is amazing. And because of my skateboard, I can come out here without even a problem. It's just like, yeah, just opens up doors, you know? It's kind of the best thing about it. Opportunities and adventures. All right, let's head back home. Think if I can have any uh, finishing thoughts. Ooh, big jump here. Maybe I'll try a little slow motion shot coming up the hill here. 
let's do it. Just like that, back home. Thank you, skateboard, bringing me home safely. Ah, so that's about all I got for you. If you have any questions, let me know. I can try and make some other videos about it or any other uh, subject matter that uh, you guys are interested in. Um, yeah, backfire, this thing's pretty dope. Oh, let me show you quick the uh, little bit of rust I saw. Right here on this wheel, there's this is a little rusty, and then there's some rust around this uh, back back plate right here. But it's the only wheel that has it. This one is totally clear. So I don't know why one wheel is getting that. I'll uh, I'll update if I find anything or if I reach out to support. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'm in South Florida. So I expect there to be a fair amount of rust on everything after a while. It's just kind of the uh, price you pay to live in paradise, I guess. But there you have it. Backfire Ranger GT. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for sticking around and watching. And I uh, hope you and yours have a peaceful, peaceful rest of the year. Peace.